What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked up ladder with this adaptability Porygon Z team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. We just passed 4,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support that has been going out on this channel. But yo, I've been hyped for today's video because Porygon Z has been one of those Pokemon I really want to show off ever since I noticed he was available in the Isle of Armor. So here we go. We're going to get rocking out with it. Rocking out in our first spot. We got Amoongus right here. Amoongus has been a beast. He's been seen all over the casual and ranked ladder ever since he's been in here because he learned Spore, which is a 100% sleep move, but he's so slow, so only two Pokemon do learn that move. It's uh, Amoongus and I believe Breedloom. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think only two Pokemon in the whole Poke universe actually learn that move, but it also has ability as Regenerator, so it gets some health back when we swap it out. The Wiki Berry and then other moves such as Rage Powder, Palm Puff, and Clear Smog. Next, we got Terrakion, who is going to be another Pokemon we're going to be showing off today. I showed him off in a casual ladder, but he's just so good. He's justified as his ability, so Beat Up Wimscott can help him out with that Lumberry Close Combat, Rock Slide, both for stat moves, Iron Head for coverage, Steel Shots, and Protect. Wimscott down here as our Tailwind Pokemon, and Beat Up Mon is just a normal Wimscott with that Focus Sash. And Prankster for first turn priority. And then we got Togekiss over here as a nice little follow me Pokemon. Normal move set on that as well with the Dazzling Gleam, Protect, and Heat Wave holding that. But Beery Berry and Super Luck ability to boost its critical ratio. Then we got our boy Incineroar. Incineroar just rocks out with Intimidate, Figgy Berry, Flare Blitz, Flake Out, Darkest Slayer, and Parting Shot. Another normal move set on this team. Like those Pokemon, they're like staple move sets. The Whimsicott's, the Togekiss's, and the uh, Incineroar's. Then in the final spot, the showcase Pokemon for the team, we got Porygon Z, Life Orb, and Adaptability. So stab moves are two times the damage. So only Hyper Beam because he is a normal Pokemon. Then the Life Orb gives it another 1.3. And then we get rolling from there. It has Nasty Plot to actually set up, get that plus two special attack, which would be huge. If we could set that up, we can get rolling and absolutely one shot like everything. We got T-Bolt and Dark Pulse over here for two different coverage moves. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom screen. I'm ready. We went 3-0 in our last ranked video. We're going to be trying to keep that win streak rolling. So guys, let's hop into some ranked battles with this Porygon Z team. So it's been a day since the new ranked season come out, so let me know in the comment section down below how you guys are doing in the new season. Right now, I am 7 and 10. I started off 3 and 0 in recordings, then we lost some on stream, won a couple, so we are now sitting at 7 and 10. But hopping into our first battle here, we're going up against a Luxury team, a Libero Cinderace as well. I was streaming and I was telling everybody, like, Cinderace and Roboom, I think they're so strong right now. Like, you are going to see tons of them, and they're so hard to counter, so, like, you guys gotta watch out for them. But... This guy's got Luxray, Sylveon, Cinderace, Focus, Primarina, and Conclador. How should I roll out from here? I kind of want to try it. Well, I think I'm going to need Tailwind. Let me check out Porygon's stats, though. How fast is this little bugger? How fast is this little boy? 135, that's not bad, yo. This is, He's so cool. He is such a cool-looking Pokemon. Look at that thing. He looks sick. He's looking dope. Okay. Um, bu -bu -bu Who do I want to go into? Definitely set up a Tailwind. Got to go Tailwind. I could go Tailwind into Terrakion. Just maybe drop a Rock Side turn one. We go into that. Have that Lumberry as well. How fast is Terrakion? Or I can just go into Incineroar. Bring Porygon in the back. And then potentially Tokus? Would that follow me? That sounds pretty nice. That sounds pretty nice. Or do I want to go Terrakion? I feel like Terrakion will be the, the best call. Let's go Terrakion here. I feel like uh, if I'm going to bring Tokus, I would rather lead it with the Porygon so I get the follow me nasty plot off. But I feel like we're just going to bring Porygon in here and get rolling from there. But, yo, if you guys want to catch more content from me, head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. I've been busy, guys. I've been busy, guys. I'm trying to work back into my schedule, but we will get there very, very soon. But just hit that follow button. Turn on those notifications so you know when I go live. We've been pushing rank ladder and trying to get mash balled here. But, yes, he does lead the Cinderace, so Incineroar was a phenomenal lead here. Incineroar was a great lead here. A nice little lead. Let's get that Intimidate. Bang, yo. Minus one on that uh, Cinderace, but the minus one on Sylveon does nothing because it's special attacking. And then I can definitely just set up a Tailwind easily. Just an easy. And then fake out. Who do I want to fake out? Obviously, I would rather fake out the Cinderace. Should I go for the Cinderace? But it might G-Max, so I'm, I'm still going to hit it. I'm still going to go after it. Bad call by me. Should have faked out the Sylveon. See, I said it. I said it. I didn't think he was going to do it because he was minus one, but yo, I guess that's fine. Please show me the Sylveon. That'd be awesome. It's got to be Cinderace, right? Yeah, G-Max Cinderace coming out here. It's minus one, so that's not bad. I'll take that all day. I will take that all day. As long as I get off this Tailwind, we'll be chilling. I can definitely parting shot later and minus one it again. But it's definitely in Liberia, or however you want to pronounce it. Man, I told you. I knew I should have faked out the Sylveon. I actually did a decent amount of damage for a fake out. Did, did, did a nice little chunk there. Did a nice little chunk. But Max Airstream comes through. 
You say bye bye to uh, Wimscott, but Wimscott is Sash, but then you already know that the What's Called's gonna come out here. You already know that the, uh, the Hyper Voice is gonna come out here. Do some damage over to my boy in Cinelore. What items in Cinelore? Was he a Soul Fest? I forget. I Or he might be a uh, Wiki Berry. He's either Berry or Vested. I totally forget what item he's holding. Maybe the Figsters. Maybe the Figgy. But Hyper Boys, obviously, that was the obvious play. Cinnamon eats that up just fine. Well, this guy goes down here, but... Okay, so speed is kind of on our side now. We're chilling with the speed. Do I bring out the Porygon? Do I bring out the Porygon? We got T-Bolt as well. Which we should go first. I could go for that. Oh my god. We could go for it. Do we think? Well, we definitely outspeed with double speed right here. But he's plus one. I think I just Dynamax go for that max strike. 150 with stab. I think it'd be better to go into the max strike, right? And I'll slow them down as well. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to actually parting shot out of here. I'm going to parting shot over on this uh, Sylveon on here. Let's get it, Porygon Z. Dynamax and Big Dog right here. Trying to get rolling here early in these ranked battles. I want it, yo. I want this win. I want to get started off with this video strong. Because so far, recording 3 0, man. Let me know when we're recording. Look how cool this dude looks. Like, I'm in love with Porygon Z. He's like a, like a futuristic duck. I don't even know what he is. Right? What, what is he? A duck? He's got to be a duck, right? Like a flash duck? I don't even know what he is. But Cinderace outspeeds now, man. That's nuts. Cinderace still outspeeds, but the minus one is going to help us out. I'm hoping we can actually pick up the KO with this, uh, with this max strike here. Let's see what happens here. We are going to party shot on Sylveon. Here comes our berry. This was our item. It was the Figgy Berry, right? Figgy Berry rocks out so well on Incineroar. Look at that. Now we're back up to half health. Half health. We're sitting phenomenal. We get that max strike coming out here. Yo, get him. <laughs> Bro, get out of my face. Yo, this thing's an absolute beast. I knew max strike was the call. Oh my, oh my, oh my lord. We're coming in hot. We're coming in hot. This thing hits like an absolute truck. So now we got that Cinerace out the way. And we're going to get off this parting shot, which is going to make this thing minus one. And then the best part about it is I can come out with another Intimidate for physical attackers and uh, come out for another fake out as well. So beautiful. We'll get Terrakion up in here. Actually, might have been a little rough. He's going to drop a Hyper Voice and he might one tap up on me. Actually, the minus one special attack could help us out. We'll see what happens here. Hyper Voice comes out. Eat up, Terrakion. All right, Terrakion does eat up. That's fine. That's fine by me. But yeah, 150 base power for a max strike because of Hyper Beam? Bruh. Bruh. And then with that uh, adaptability? Bruh, that's insane. That's insane. This thing might have Aqua Jet, but I'm definitely going for a max strike. Hmm. I'm going to take out the Pre-Marina here. Or do we think Pre-Marina is protected? I want you gone, and I want... Well, I could go for an Iron Head into Pre-Marina. Or now, let's go into the Iron Head over on Silver now. Super effective. So we'll do that. Iron Head comes out. Terrakion is the fastest. Let's get it. Nice big damage there. Show me we get that flinch. Well, I don't really mind if Terrakion goes down. Primarina is definitely down here. Let's just sash. We're taking out G-Max Cinderaces in one shot. We got to take out Primarina. It's gone. Like, see you later, dude. Porygon Z coming up big, baby. And we slowing him down as well. So, this will be the last shot that Sylveon does get off. Which is totally fine. She's going to take out Terrakion. I'm fine with it. Oh, you get a crit on my Porygon? Don't tell me that was a crit on my pores. Come on, man. Come on, man. And we should have one more turn left in Tailwind, right? We should have one more turn left in Tailwind. And Incineroar comes out here. Okay, so Incineroar is out. Ready to roll. And it goes to Luxray. I think Luxray might protect. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. We do get that Intimidate, which is huge. Which is huge. And I don't think any of these guys have first turn priority moves. Besides maybe Sylveon. Sylveon actually might have it. Because he's what's called. Dude, with the quick attack. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. But I think both my Pokemon can eat that up. Hmm. Mm hmm hmm. Definitely go for a max strike, slow all these Pokemon down. Go after this Luxray, and we're just gonna go for a fake out over on the Sylveon. I think that's the play call. But I think Luxray might actually protect. But still, as long as we slow him down, see, Luxray does protect. So good thing I did go into the max strike there, because I do get to slow these Pokemon down. And the fake out comes. Oh, nope. You protecting too. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I Like, Sylveon's going to be slowest because it's minus two. And now uh, it's going to be minus three. And Luxray's going to be minus one. So we should be able to outspeed just fine. Like, we should be chilling here. How much damage are we doing? Oh, my lord. That's through the protect. That is through the protect. Come on, man. What you want, fool? What you want? He goes for that double protect. 
Okay, okay. Actually, yo, quick attack might take me out. Hmm. See what happens. This thing's gotta be rocking out with quick attack, right? We do not have protect. So. I'm gonna go for dark pulse. Over on you. And then I think a darkest lariat. Now I gotta go for that flare blitz. Let's see what happens here. Please don't tell me you have quick attack and you're gonna take this first battle. It does, man! Eat it! Yo, Porygon, I love you. Porygon eats it so well. Dark Pulse comes out here. This should take out Luxray, right? Yep, Luxray is gone. And Flare Blitz is going to come in here and pick up that KO. Yo, dude, my boy Porygon eats up. Thankful for the, what's it called? The parting shot that we used earlier for that minus one special attack. That was actually huge. That was actually huge for us. Porygon goes down to Life Orb damage. And Incineroar is going to come in here, clutch it up, get that win in battle number one. Yo. Porygon Z, an absolute beast. That thing's one tap and everything left and right. It did so much damage to that Luxray, even through the Protect. But let's go, guys. Coming off that strong win with that Porygon Z, we're hopping into our second battle here. This guy has a cool looking team with Gallade, Charizard, Inteleon, probably G Max Inteleon, Weezing, maybe Neutralizing Gas. That could be a big threat for us. So we're cool to set the drought and Luxray coming in. Maybe for that Intimidate. I'm definitely. Do I drop my own Intimidate here? Hmm, who does he go into? I definitely want to set up a Tailwind. I definitely want to set up a Tailwind. Now, do I want to go for my Spore Pokemon? I could get rolling early on with that, with a little bit of Spore action. A little bit of Spore. Um, I kind of want to go into... I really want to go Porygon on turn 1, but at the same time, I don't. Actually, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go Porygon on turn 1. I might actually Dynamax him first turn. I'm going to bring Incineroar. Actually, let's take him out. Look at that. Oh, five seconds left. Go Porygon, and I think we're going to bring Amoongus for the back end. Let's get it. Let's get rolling with that one. Let's get rolling with that one. Get that Amoongi in the back end. I feel like he can come up clutch, potentially putting somebody to sleep or Rage Powder in the side. But let's get it. Let's go. But we got Wimscott going in that first spot. And yo, look at this dude's little background. It has a little Kingler's pinching around. That's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. M. <clears throat> M. I have a, like, a little scratch in my throat right now. But we chillin'. We chill him. Wimscott Incineroar gets the lead for us. And he goes wheezing. Does he have neutralized gas? Intimidate coming out here. That's going to be huge for uh, up against him. He's minus one. Now you're minus one, but you're just special attacking. So kind of like the same thing last time. And the Misty Surge is going to get going. I'm totally fine with that. I'm 100% fine with that. You know what? Do I even Tailwind here? I feel like Wimscott definitely outspeeds everything else. And we just dump on the Glade, right? Sound, sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Unless you're going to swap out. Because the Misty Terrain's totally helping us out with our fairy moves. And Wimpscott should be outspeed the Glade. Glade's going to protect. That's rather smart. I'm cool with it. I did not tailwind just yet. Take out. Mwah. Get out of here, boy. Get out of here, boy. Moonblast coming in. And he blocks it. And he blocks it. Get out of my face, little boy. Get out of here. Hey, Weezing flinches. Hmm. I could set up tailwind now, but no. I still want a Moonblast. I totally still want a Moonblast here. Then I'm going to Parting Shot over on this Weezing. Just uh, minus that thing special attack. I'm totally cool with it. Moonblast comes out. Did we KO this thing? I think we might KO this thing. One shot. Let's see it. Nope. Nope. Still, a lot of damage. I keep. I just keep forgetting how much uh, or how little Wimscott actually does. But uh, we're parting out here. I'm going to go get in Amoongus here. Amoongus going to come back. Let's get Amoongi up in here. Where's my boy Amoongus? Where do I get Porygon up in here? You got to be going after Wimscott, right? Now, fighting's got to come, ac come across this way, so onto my Incineroar, because it would have been super effective. So, let's get a Moongus out here. I feel like a big old one, maybe a close combat's coming in to a Moongus' slot. Let's see what happens here. A Dazzling Gleam comes out. Okay, I'm cool with it. We eat just fine. Do not take out my Wimscott. Do not take out my Wimscott. Critical hit on a Moongus, of course. Which you mean any... Oh, this thing rolls a Trick Room. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with that. Good thing I didn't set up my Tailwind. I'm totally fine with that. This thing set up a Trick Room, bro. What you mean? I think really going after trick rooms. Um, do I spore? I could palm puff. I could clear smog. I'm not gonna clear smog. Hmm. Did I put Pokemon to sleep in the Misty Terrain? I forget. What's Misty Terrain do? Hmm. Five turns. Pokemon on the ground won't get any status condition. So, is Weezing considered on the ground? Is Weezing considered on the ground? He's like levitated, bro. <laughs> but. Hmm. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna heal up this Wimscott here. I'm gonna heal up this Wimscott. I'm gonna just play this one slow. He's gonna withdraw the Weezing, so this little call by me to go after this, heal up the Wimscott. He's gonna get the heat out here. Oof. Oof. 
Wish I could change up the terrain. I wish I could do it. Drought's coming out here. It's gonna be a struggle. A struggle. Are you protecting again? He is gonna protect again. What a smart cookie. What a smart little cookie, dude. Palm Puff coming out. There you go, Wim Scott. Take some health, buddy. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so Moonblast does nothing. So my sash is back up. So it is safe to just go into a Moonblast, take out the Glade. And then, but he's going to outspeed us. And then go into the Incineroar and drop another Intimidate. Right? And get a Moongus back on the Regenerator. Like, I'm trying to waste out this terrain and this uh, Drought and all that good stuff. So we'll make a, we'll make a late minus two. And just see what happens. Our Sash is back up. We cannot be one-tapped here. Intimidate pops off on the Torkoal. And he's definitely going for an eruption here. And now our Sash pop, popping out here. Jeez, man. Jeez. That's too much damage. Look how much damage he did on my Incineroar. Look how much damage he did on my Incineroar here. But Sash is popping. He goes for a Drain Punch. Oh, over on him. Jeez, man. Jeez. Gets his uh, 1 HP back. Okay. Uh, play here is Torkoal is definitely going to protect. How many turns left in Trick Room? I wish I can see right now. I'm not too sure. But do I get a Moongus out? But Torkoal is definitely protecting. I'm going to get Porygon Z out here. And I'm Dynamaxing him. I'm Dynamaxing this Porygon Z. You think I care? You think I care? I'm Dynamaxing this boy. And... Hmm. I still think I max strike through to Torkoal. I still think I go after Torkoal slot and I pick out the Glade. Now Glade's gonna protect too. I'm gonna I'm gonna fake out the Torkoal. Glade's definitely protecting, right? So I'm gonna fake out the Torkoal, but I think we're gonna see a double protect here. But reason I am going into that Torkoal slot is because even if he does protect, I'm still gonna hit through. I'm still gonna hit through and do a little bit of damage and neglect some of that eruption damage. But the chances are, I'm seeing a double protect. That's what I'm thinking. His Glade's been protecting every other turn. It's minus two, so I don't really have to worry about it too, too much. But Porygon Z coming out here. We're just trying to waste some turns out here. Let's see what happens here. Fake out comes out. He does not. So Torkoal might just go down here. Let's see what happens. Glade's going to come out here. Go for a drain punch. He's minus two. I'm not too worried about that too much. So he's just going to trigger our Figgy Berry. He's just going to trigger our Figgy Berry. What's called? He's going to flinch here. Where's our Figgy Berry? There's a Figgy Berry. Twinkle's gonna flinch here, so I think we might take it out. Like, our boy's a beast, and you guys already know. You guys seen in the last battle. He's an absolute, absolute beast. We got Life Orb and Adaptability coming out here. Boop! See you later, Torko. Get him out of here. Get going, yo. Get going, kid. Dropping speed of Gallade, so he's definitely gonna go first. I could parting shot on whoever I want to. Like I said, he's minus two. And he still has his Dynamax. The Mist disappears here. So I could eventually get out my boy again. I could get my Amoongus back out here soon. But I'm thinking I'm going to Parting Shot and just start Rage Powdering the sides. Weezing comes back out, and I cannot go for Spores anymore. <laughs> Misty Surge. And I watch out for those Drain Punches. They are super effective. How many turns are left in his Trick Room, though? It's got to be one, right? It's got to be one, right? One more turn left in Trick Room. So I'm going to go for this once again. Get after him. And then I'm going to just Parting Shot over on you. If I take out the Weezing, that's totally fine by me. He's got to be going for another Drain Punch. Into my Porygon. I don't know why he didn't go into my Porygon last turn. I don't know that. I just didn't. I do not understand. It would have been super effective. <laughs> Look at Porygon. He like spazzes out. <laughs> my boy like spazzes out. And it just cracks me up. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, it just cracks you up, it just starts tweaking, it just starts going nuts. But anyway, I'm waiting for him to do it again. He doesn't do it, and he's gonna Dynamax. Please show me the Glade. Please show me you're gonna be stupid with the Glade. Or well, you're gonna go with the Weezing, you gotta go with the Weezing, right? Yeah, big old Weezing comes out here. That's a little, like, off, like, you never see the Weezings pop out, you know? You never see the Dynamax Weezings. Alright, let's see what goes on here. He goes for the Starfall. Over on Porygon? Who are you going after? Going after Incineroar. Incineroar eats. Lovely, lovely. So Incineroar might get this out here. Drain Punch does go on Porygon's side. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. Incineroar stays alive. He parting shots. We're going to be able to get off another Intimidate and another Fake Out. So this is just working well for us. And how much damage are we doing with this Max Strike? How much damage are we doing with this Max Strike? Get it, Porygon. We're going to bring out a Moongi Woongi. So I can just Rage Powder out here. Or I can just Pollen Puff. 
I could totally just pump up, but I think I'm gonna rage powder first turn. X strike. Get him out there. Get it. Get it, Porygon. Get it, boy. Bro, dude, this thing is OP. This thing is OP. Okay, you got a crit. I wonder if we would have took out with without the uh, critical hit. Like this thing is a beast. He's hitting like an absolute truck. <laughs> like you guys seen this? He's just dominating left and right. Porygon's gonna lose some HP. We get that trick room back here. I'm not worried about the Glade. He's minus three. I just been pestering him the whole game. So I'm just gonna use my final uh, Dynamax turn over on this left side. I got one more turn, right? It's Charizard. This Charizard. So I'm definitely going to Rage Powder here. I'm definitely going to Rage Powder here. I'm definitely going to Max Strike and I'm definitely going to Rage Powder. Get over here. He might go for a Heat Wave, but I don't think one Heat Wave is going to do 212 to us. Unless he could be Solar Powered. We'll see what happens here. Could be Solar Powered Life Orb in the Drought. That could be scary. That would take out my Amoongus one shot. But Rage Powder's coming out here. Just so I can uh, distract a little bit. Get distracting. And his Charizard's going to go for a Blast Burn. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. I'm cool with it. You can go down, Amoongus. That's fine. That's fine. Amoongus, you did your job. Porygon is going to outspeed. He gets a crit. Okay, that's fine. I think you were taken out regardless. But Charizard's done. Charizard's out for the count. See him later, Charizard. Get out of here, Charizard. And then we got this one in the bag. This thing's about to be minus four. This thing's about to be minus four. Bang, max strike. Gone. Get out of here, kid. Dude. Porygon is so much better than I thought he would. I thought it was just gonna be like an average little mod. This thing is so strong, it is ridiculous. I don't think I've seen a stronger Pokemon in this. Like, this thing's hitting left and right, just trashing on fools. Like, I don't even need to use the Nasty Pot. I don't even need to use the Nasty Pot. But I believe we're gonna get ranked up to Ultra Ball tier after this one. Because we were like mid nine, with this will be uh, two in a row. So that'll give us a nice little boost out here. And Sinora's 10 HP, but I don't really care. I got the fake out and all that. Dynamax turns are over. I'm gonna send a Hyper Beam. I am going to send a Hyper Beam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't move the next turn. It's all good. You're gonna be dead anyway. Don't you dare protect. You know this game's over. Bruh. What you mean? What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, dog? You're minus four. <laughs> This dude's minus four. We're going for that hyper beam. 150, man. Base 150 with stab. Well, adaptability stab, which is two times. Um, I guess we'll go for flare butts. Let's get it. Get it, Porygon. Get after it, buddy. Hyper beam comes out. Look at this move. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my lord. Melted the dude. We just melted this fool. Get out of here, Galade. Yo, this Galade's been out here since uh, what was it? First turn. And we just kept it around, just uh, smacking down its uh, its uh, attack, making it minus four. And now we're two and zero. Let's hop into our third and final battle. Final battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a rain team without Kingdra. Like, come on, it is new season, new ranked Pokemon, and you're not gonna have Kingdra on this thing. At least he brought Politoed. At least he brought Politoed besides uh, Pelipper. That's that's a little cooler. But he got Politoed, Excalibur, Lapras, Gmax, Lapras. That's obvious. Blah 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 blah. Whimsicott, Arcanine with that Intimidate, and Swift Swim, Dreadnought. Could be G-Max. Could be G-Max as well. But I definitely got to set Tailwind again. I mean, who do we think is going to go out and do? Maybe Intimidate Arcanine? I mean, I can Intimidate his Arcanine. Or I can go Justified and start rolling that out. Let's go with that. Bring Porygon in the back. We might not even want to Dynamax. It really depends on how it, how it goes. Porygon, and I think Incineroar is going to just be Clutch Pokemon. Hmm. No, you know what? I might want to Dynamax Porygon right off the bat. No, I'm gonna go with that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Let's go back. Here we go. Pick your team, jeans. We don't have time. We don't have time. Give me the Porygon. Bring me the Porygon at least. Bring me the Porygon. I kept second guessing myself. I was thinking about. I think I probably should have done that. Just faked out the Windscott or faked out somebody and picked up the free KO, and then roll from there. Well, let's just see what happens. Let's, let's just let's see what happens. Let's see what team we got. Let's just see what team we have. Hmm. Who are you going to give me? I think I maybe should have went Togekiss and Porygon as a lead. That would have been nice. He goes Whimsicott and Arcanine. We go Amoongus and Terrakia. You know what? I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Even though it Intimidate's not going to help us out too, too much. Probably going to go Rage Powder. Or not Rage Powder. 
Probably gonna go on a tailwind, but who else we got? Okay, we got Porygon and we got Wimscott. You know what? I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I can deal with it. Um, do I spore up? Hmm. I could Rage Powder. Or I could swap. Nah, I don't want to swap. Like, who am I gonna swap with? Someone else that's gonna take damage. Hmm. I'm just gonna Rage Powder here. I'm gonna drop a nice big old Rock Slide. I'm gonna drop a nice big old Rock Slide. Rage Powder comes out. What you want, fools? What you want? We're gonna shoot out some powder from our little Pokeball top head. That one's coming out here, and I think he's just going to drop a, uh, a Flare Blitz. I'm hoping Close Combat was coming across. Nope, Flare Blitz coming in. Can we eat? Can I move his E? He's pretty bulky. My dude. My dude eats up just fine. This thing takes recoil damage, which is lovely. We eat our Wiki Berry up. And we're going to get some HP back. I actually might uh, regenerate here. Rock Side comes out. Yes, sir. Doing some nice damage. And now this, I think this is going to be the play. I think we drop a Rock Side here and we swap a Moongus into Whimsicott. Whimsicott Sash is going to get triggered. And then we Tailwind. How's that sound? That sounds pretty nice, doesn't it? Like, I don't care if you go for another Flare Blitz here. I'm dropping another Rock Side. We're going to do exactly this. And then we can just save our Porygon. We saw his Tailwind turn and start going here. But Amoongus is going to step back. We're going to get some health back from Regenerator ability. And Whimsicott's going to come in here. Here goes Dazzle Gleam. Oh no, he doesn't Gleam. He has Dazzle Gleam. Never mind. My plan's ruined. My plan is ruined. Flare Blitz comes out again. My plan's so ruined. My plan is so ruined. <laughs> Bruh. That's what I get for like letting Computer pick my team and wasting my time out. Hey, okay, Rockside coming out. It's missing somebody. Who, who, who dodged? Arcanine really dodged that. Bro, what you mean? What you mean, dog? I'm gonna go Porygon. I got a Dynamax Porygon here. Like, Porygon's gotta be the Dynamax bond, right? Look at him. Get it, Boris. Get it, dog. We got a Dynamax here. Start slowing them now, at least. Um, I think I take out one Scott. Hmm. Who do I take out here? I think Arcanine can potentially protect, so I'm gonna go with that. And I'm just gonna go for Rock Side here. Let's get it. Drop this Rock Side. I feel like we could maybe win this battle if we just get our Porygon out here dominating and then just Rage Powder and all that good stuff. And we could Palm Puff and get more HP. But tough battle here. Tough battle here. I knew it was gonna be a tough battle once I once we didn't pick our team. Here goes our Dynamax. They're gonna be faster than us because that Tailwind. But I feel like once we get out this hand one, we should be chilling because we're going to start minusing uh, speed for them. Because they have two more turns left. Two more turns, that's not bad. That's doable. That is doable, especially with Rage Powers. My boy Porygon comes out here. He starts spazzing around. I think that's so funny. I think it's so funny when he just starts flailing his arms and his legs, his head. <laughs> Gleam comes out. Rakyan's going to be able to eat up just fine. Same thing with Porygon. Snarl comes out. Oh, you buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. Rocking out with that Snarl. You buttery biscuit, man gonna do me dirty but i'm well terrakion is justified so that brings his attack back up so i think we might be able to uh take this out bro who's dodging who dodged that please show me it was uh Wimscott. hit the arcanine bro what you mean what is this game what is this game i just don't understand how we missed two rock sides you should be dead you should be dead now he's gonna get off another snarl now i feel like i have the max guard here now I have to max guard. I cannot go down minus two. Bruh. Bruh. What you mean? No, I gotta I gotta keep using these Dynamax turns. That's a fact. I gotta keep using these Dynamax turns. I'm going after you. And I'm gonna drop a uh, rock slide. But what you mean though? What you mean? They're gonna drop get this electric terrain rolling, and he has that polyto in the back. He's gonna switch from Dreadnought. Bro, this last battle. Doo doo battle right here. He's gonna Dynamax, potentially throw out Polyto, try to get that switch from rolling. This thing is gonna be able to hit like a truck, but I hope not. I hope he doesn't uh, go into the Polyto so we can at least get a uh, nice little turn here. So he doesn't just shoot us down with a straight stab, water move, take out my boy. But hopefully, this Electric can do some dirty work to him. Get some dirty work. Even though we're gonna be minus two, you know another Snarl's coming out here. That's a fact, right? Oh, he goes extreme speed. We might be able to eat that up. No, we do not. What you mean? I thought we were going to be able to eat that up. All good. All good. 
He's gonna go for a max quake. Okay. Okay, max quake out here, which is not stab. He's gonna boost the special defense, which is rather smart. Which is rather smart. And the thing is, Tailwind's gonna be over. Our boy's minus one. Arcanine's minus one here. And we're gonna get off a nice little max lightning here. And I could just rage powder to make sure this thing gets off another turn. How much damage are we really doing to this thing? Not bad damage. So that we are minus one, he's plus one special defense. And the next year's terrain is getting boosted. It is getting boosted. So Amoongus is coming out here. My boy Amoongus. Their tailwind Peter's out. I'm gonna get my boy up in here. Let's get it, Amoongus. Do I just start rage powdering out? Hmm. This one's gonna be a close one. It, well, it could be a close one. We'll see, we'll see. Hmm. I'm gonna start slowing all them down. I'm gonna rage powder this way. <laughs> we got spasm, bro. <laughs> Stop, yo. We crack me up every single time. He cracks me up every single time. He's just like, I'll do my impression of him. <laughs> Legit what he does. Oh, man. I cracked myself up. But, <laughs> oh, you guys got a lamp out of that one. Rage powder coming out. And we're gonna try to soak up some shots. Max Strike, oh, we are outspeeding him regardless right here. We will take out you. That is lovely. We will take out you. And then we will minus your speed. He's going to have to go after my boy here. He's going to have to go after my my boy. Uh, he's going to go for a Rock Ball. He's going after a Moongus. He's going to set the buff that's going to start coming out here. Oof, that still did it. Mm. Still kicked on me. Still kicked on me. Buffet's going to start popping off here. We get buffeted by the sand. Oh, it's coming down. It's coming down. If he has Rainmon, then we have a shot here. If he has Politoed, I mean, we do not have a shot. If he doesn't have Rainmon, please don't be Politoed. It's Excalibur. Okay. Okay. Excalibur. I'm down for it. I'm cool with it. Hmm. I can't go for Hyper Beam. I cannot go for Hyper Beam. It's not very effective on both. I go for this over on you. That might be able to take it out. I got a Rage Powder. I already know Porygon outspeeds that thing. But you know what? I'm gonna go here. Hey. Nah, you know what? We're going with this. We got a Rage Powder here. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Rage Powder coming out here. I feel like we can potentially take out that uh, Dreadnought right here. Let's see. Come on. Do him dirty. Do him dirty. E! I thought maybe it was happening. We were close. We were close, but now nah, that's gonna be game. That's gonna be game. Put Max Quakes gonna come out here. Boost his special defense. Excalibur's gonna come out here. Take out our Porygon. Rough third battle for us. I kind of knew we were already in a deep hole once we started off the battle because the way I was set up, he had Tailwind priority. Now all I wanted to do was get that out that Wounds Cut. I probably would have been fine if my plan would have worked out in the beginning. He had Dazzling Gleam instead of Moon Blast. People that had Moon Blast would have went towards my Amoongus, and we would have been just fine. We're not my Amoongus. He would have uh, targeted something else and just went for the fire button there and then my stash would have triggered. But it's all good. GG, we went 2 and one with this video. Porygon absolutely rocks. I'm glad we got to show him off to his fullest potential. After playing with this team, I have decided to give Porygon Z the crown. Yep, Porygon is my new favorite IO Armor Pokemon. Yeah, let's get it, Porygon. Yo, he has the crown. I don't think anyone's going to beat him. He was so much fun. He's so funny with his little spazzy moves, and he is just a great Pokemon overall. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.